Good morning, Friday the 13th. Ooh, super scary. Let's take a look at the rules and disclosures real quick on the website and um, be aware that trading desk contains substantial risk. Look at all the rules and disclosures before trading and sim trade before you test test any strategy out. We still have our weekly daily 6015 um, on the crude and the bonds. Uh, the other markets are mixed. Um, that gives us the best opportunity to take crude to the long side. So um, this is set up for um, the regular trading hour session, which we're still in the Globex session. But one thing that I've noticed is we have been hanging above the previous river of gold, which is wide though, on a wide river of gold, we're more likely to come back and test that area. And we're currently in a negative or downside moment uh, volatility and flat momentum. So I would not be surprised to see a breakout fake out, break out, hit the top end of this range and then fall back towards yesterday low and S1 and right below that pick up that 4550 again. Uh, even perhaps there's two right here in a row. So this looks like it's going to be an attractor, perhaps, but we still have been holding above this range, um, but just sort of going sideways. Um, we are again the bias to the upside. I just got a super trend to the upside, so you know you could determine that um, my analysis is flawed and this is just going to go ahead and take off from here, which it could. Here was a Globex uh, or a one hour initial balance level that extends out that has retained price. So um, we do want to see the positive volatility and that's what I just picked up started to pick up. That doesn't mean it's not going to get up here and turn around. Yesterday close is above us, so price could run to that. Um, yesterday VWAP, yesterday close. But um, it just might be a little bit choppy today, uh, given the low volatility level, I mean momentum level right here. So, um, but keep your bias to the upside. The blue right here is the Globex cloud, 25%. The blue cloud for the overnight 25 cent value high low. And it is to the downside of our river of gold. So um, if we're looking for longs, I like to see that cloud on the upside of that river of gold. Right now the clouds to the downside, leading me to believe that we might get a run up to that yesterday close and then fail back to get back to 4550 to hit these levels down here. So, but we'll see, uh, like I said, just trade what's in front of you. Keep an eye on the weekly daily 6015. If this does start falling back down, the 6015 could be going into the red, meaning that your um, lower levels are the targets. As long as it's weekly daily 6015, my rules only really permit me to look for long vol and higher trades. Ideally, I'd like to see above the 25% value area on the um, price and um, be printing long. So we'll see what happens. Just not might not be the best trading environment for crude. I'd like to see, really get above 46.78. Uh, yesterday in NASDAQ we had quite the day. Um, Let me make this a bigger. Chart so we can see it.
These charts take a minute to populate on the direction guide template and you always should load 55 days of data because I am running an algorithm that does take these conditions into um, consideration uh, on one of my solvers and when I see that that condition is also printing during the regular trading hour session I might increase my position side size if I'm running below the volatility and weekly daily I mean the um, open to close so um, next features let me put this back on the regular trading hour session um, we are in a retracement currently um, for the regular trading hour session but you can clearly see that we're in a downtrend um, which provided for some great trades yesterday Um, let me show you what those look like. Had some really nice trade setups. Going short. These two in particular, right up this one right off the river of gold. So um NASDAQ was just wonderful yesterday. We've, um, of course, gotten into um, a bit of a retracement. So um, wait for this to turn back around and wait for the 6015 to catch back up into the red. Um, so this market is too mixed to trade and it's not even close to the open yet. So we'll keep an eye on crude to see if that's weekly daily 6015 provides us an opportunity for a run to $50. Wouldn't that be nice? And um, one thing about crude I wanted to mention before I sign off. We are in an uptrend on the 60 minute we're still in a 60 minute uptrend um, and the daily so this really could turn around here and hit that $50 level the weekly is where we're still in the downtrend but the very top of the weekly is that 50 magic $50 level 4850 for my top um, volatility band so it's reaching up for that 4850 level and currently we are in a downtrend um, Choppy don't take the long trades on my 15 minutes, so I would not be reaching this volatility, especially since the River of Golds are here and um, we're in that negative volatility on my 15 minute. Um, the 15 minute chart is a nice chart to try to get price to wrap around it. The thing for me about trading was when I realized I didn't have to chase every single tick and I made a lot better success when I allowed price to catch up to itself you don't have to take the first initial thrust um, when you allow the market to to get in sync with each other and price is behaving trading one side of that volatility or another right now we've broken out of it as represented on the 15 minute chart so once price is behaving and I'm getting my prints all in the same direction if I'm looking long I'm gonna want this 15 minute chart participation so to match my 60 minute and my daily so um, 
to reach up to, and know where my level is. So take your time. It doesn't mean that you have to jump on the first green volatility you see on a lower Unirinko chart. That's where you get in trouble and get yourself slammed on the head by um, stopouts. So wait for the stars to align, all of them, and uh, especially that um, trend in volatility, and watch your momentum and make sure it's correct. Right now we're flat below zero and I've got two red bars which is not, you know, and all this is empty. Of course we don't have the open to close but the other two are empty so I'd rather see a full um, directional trading opportunity like this. And that's not to say that we won't get there today and we very well could. It's just, it's better to wait for this to start occurring and then get in the market and start taking your ticks. Then you can come down to your lower time frame. And if you're looking long, then you can come and either take your trades this way or this way and then pick up your ticks. Take your marbles off the table and go home. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So take your time, wait for the markets to set up the way you want to see them set up. Don't jump in a sideways market. Know where your levels are that you like to trade to. And, um, let's let's have some fun so good luck trading and um i'll see you next week thank you